story to tell. Both Pakistan and India were once within a country and a British colony. After Britain granted India's independence in 1947, this country split into two countries, present-day India and Pakistan. Although it was once a nation, but when it became two independent nations, India and Pakistan immediately became rivals. Between the two countries, there were three major wars and hundreds of border conflicts, killing hundreds of thousands of people. After the Pakistani state was established, the United States saw Pakistan as a strategic ally outside of NATO. During the 1980s, Pakistan stood side by side with the United States in support of the Mujahideen forces against the Soviet army in Afghanistan. The US sold many weapons to Pakistan at that time, notably the F-16 fighters which enabled Pakistan to cope with the Soviet MiG-29 fighters at that time. In 1998, India tested six nuclear bombs within three days. Nearly three weeks later, Pakistan ran a similar test schedule with five bombs in one day and the sixth one three days later. This action by both India and Pakistan was condemned by the world. The US immediately imposed arms embargoes on both India and Pakistan. Taking advantage of the fragmented relationship between the United States and Pakistan, China provided Pakistan with a great deal of military weapons and equipment. In return, the Pakistani army bought many Chinese weapons. One of the outstanding military cooperation achievements between China and Pakistan is the JF-17 light fighter. In addition to equipment for the Pakistani Air Force, this aircraft is also aimed at the export market. Because of the strong relationship between Pakistan and China, the US is concerned that its military technologies could be secretly transferred to China by Pakistan. The U.S. concern is valid, since Pakistan had previously delivered a Tomahawk missile, which was crushed in Pakistani territory during the U.S. war with Afghanistan in 2001, and a Black Hawk helicopter crashed during the U.S. Special Forces destroying terrorist boss Osama Bin Laden for the Chinese side. Even Russia is not ready to support modern weapons to Pakistan, as India has always been a non-treaty ally of the Soviet Union and Russia. Most of the Indian Army's current weapons originate from the Soviet Union and Russia. It was the Indian arms market that saved the Russian defense industry from collapsing after the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Just recently, as tensions have escalated between China and India, India has spent billions on buying Russian weapons 
including fighters, mobile air defense missiles, radars, etc. Not only that, when the Obama administration implements a pivotal policy to the Asia-Pacific region, the relationship between the U.S. and India is getting closer and closer. The United States has shown to India a variety of modern weapons, even maybe the F-35 stealth fighter jet in the near future. With a potential arms market like India, neither Russia nor the US wants to anger India. They will certainly not supply weapons to Pakistan. With its current state, Pakistan is only relying on Chinese weapons to modernize its military. My video about Pakistan military answer. Thank you for watching. You find this video interesting? Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.